Yo bros, FIFA 18 is finally here, so it's time to welcome you to the premiere of my brand new series. FIFA 18 is not actually out yet as I'm recording this, so the best I can do is show you a bit of the companion app or the web app. So, but what's the series all about, you ask? I'll tell you, my friend. As the title suggests, Struggle to Glory, Road to Elite. This is an RTG type series on FIFA and we will try to take my team, the team we will try to build together the best we can to try to compete in the king of all FIFA online competition, Foot Champions. I don't have an infinite cash supply to throw at the game and get the best thing possible in like two days after the game is released. I don't have the whole day just to play FIFA and stream and draft and Looking back, I'm really proud of what I achieved on FIFA 17. I started the game super late, I think it was in February. It took me a few months to build a good team and to finally be able to qualify to play on the mother of all FIFA competitions, which is Foot Champions. And if you think about it, Foot Champions is just the best players playing each other through the weekend. It's really tough. I nearly got to the elite ranking, just by a little bit. To reach elite, basically you have to get a 3 to 1 win-loss ratio. Which is insane when you're thinking that everyone you're playing against is a good FIFA player. Because if you're not good, you're just not getting in foot champion. I think I did pretty well, but this year I'm starting from day 1. I have a very clear goal. Elite. I want to reach elite in foot champions. I want to be one of the best. Elite is the goal, Elite is the finish line, Elite is our promised land. So, struggle to glory, guess what? You know what the glory is already. But what about the struggle? Why did I decide to call this series Struggle to Glory, Road to Elite? You know the glory part. So, let's get to the struggle. And with it, you will learn a little bit more about myself. So, the main thing about the struggle, number one, it's my full-time job. And that's at least 40 hours of every week gone just to work. Especially in the busy hours, which unfortunately it's when I need to travel to work. And that's why it's busy. Everyone has to do that, right? So to add to the minimum of 40 hours, I have at least 8 hours every week. So 48 hours I'm either working or in a bus or in the tube. And on top of that, my job is very mentally demanding. It's a creative job. I work in the film industry. I'm a visual effects artist for film, more specifically, I'm a 3D animator. I make special effects for the films you see at home, or at the cinema, or maybe from Pirate Bay. In my industry, there's a little thing called overtime, which we all have to do sooner or later. If we're reaching a deadline and we can't do all the work we need to do in the 8 hours, we need to add some more. And that happens a lot of times, especially in the end phases of film production. Don't get me wrong though, I absolutely love my job. It's my dream, I'm very lucky to do it. And you're probably familiar with my work. I worked for Marvel in Guardians of the Galaxy, the original one. X-Men Apocalypse, recently for Disney with Jungle Book, which my team won an Oscar for and it's unreal, I'm so proud. A good moment to be alive. Just to give you an idea of what winning an Oscar for Best Visual Effects is, it's basically winning, it's basically being top 100. Actually, it's better than being top 100, it's being top 10. The hell with that, the Oscar is just for the best in the world, so it's number one. It is really a struggle to balance FIFA and a job like this. So, part number two of the struggle, life, or in my case, or what I like to call it, the adult life. So outside of work and outside of FIFA, there's a lot of more things happening in my life. I live in London with NJ, my girlfriend, and for nearly a year already we've been living here and surviving here. But we're building this life together. It might sound silly for some of you guys, but there's things like around the house, taking care of the house, cleaning, shopping, laundry, cooking, responsibilities. They take a lot of the little free time we have outside of work and then you know of course there's the couple life there's the hobbies we love to do together there's the dates all that good stuff you know friends going out to eat something going to the cinema having a drink friday night 
and there's family. Family is back home all the way in Portugal, so when I want to visit family, I have to fly all the way there, or they have to come and see me here. So you know, life in general is part of the struggle. So hopefully a lot of you guys are seeing yourselves in my story. Maybe you have a full-time job too. Maybe you're in school, you need to go to school every day and then you have homework, you need to study for your tests. Maybe you are in uni and maybe you have a part-time job on the side just, you know, to help out with the money. Maybe some of you are even married, maybe some of you have kids and that's an even bigger responsibility than all of mine together. Maybe you're just not allowed to play FIFA at certain days or certain time. Maybe your internet is not the best and you have to wait for everyone to be out of their phones and tablets and computers to be able to play online. I don't know, maybe you are a dog and you can't even hold a PlayStation controller. My point is, some will have it harder than me, others will have it easier just the way it is. Everybody has their own struggles, so what's so special about me? absolutely fucking nothing i am just like you guys we are on the same team we play on the same side we play with the same ball we play with the same shoes the only difference between us is i decided to start a youtube channel for fun and maybe that's not even true maybe you have a youtube channel as well but i'll tell you one thing guys making a channel it's not an easy task so i'll show you my gaming and recording setup it's as you see, I bet I'm the only YouTuber you've ever seen to play FIFA on a beanbag. So every time I finish recording, I have to take all this setup and just put it in the box so it doesn't disturb everyone. And every time I want to record, I have to set it all up and it takes about 5-10 minutes. I'm waking up earlier every day so I can do YouTube work without breaking the balance of my life or the balance of other people's lives. Balance in life is everything. So you know the struggle which is balancing an adult life, full-time working, married life with FIFA and YouTube. And you know the glory which is to be between the best of the best in the queen of all online FIFA competitions and reach the elite status on foot champion. If I can do this, it's going to be a personal record because I never did it before. So what's the plan? It's really simple, I'm going to kickstart the channel with a few drafts right when the game is out. I'm going to save all the packs from the drafts so we can open all of them at once during the one to watch promotion. So based on what we pack and the coins we generate from there, I'm going to, you know, improvise. I don't know if I, if, if I pack an icon, I'm, I might do a series which is taking that icon to glory. So it will be on my team since the very beginning until the end. If I don't pack anyone special, I might just sell everything and then buy a team that I really like with all that money. But anyway, we will improvise. There's not like a, a path I have made for me to go. Depends on a day-to-day -day basis what we do. We have the goal to find. How we get there, we'll see. We're going to quali- well, we're going to try to qualify since week one of Foot Champions. I want to be involved since the beginning this time. I will do a little bit of trading to have more coins, but this will be on my own. Normally I do a little trading on my phone when I'm on the bus or I'm taking a break from work or something. And I think that will be really boring to show you guys, so I'll, I'll keep it to myself, but I might share one thing or two with you, maybe give you some tips. So to get to the glory, I will keep generating money with divisions as well, food champions of course, and squad building challenges. Squad building challenges will be something apart from the main series, but it will be a part of it, because whatever we get from it, like rewards, it goes to my team, my bank account. But it will be different because I hate playing against the CPU. No way I'm going to play it just to get packs. So there will be this mini fun series where I play squad building challenges with a guest on my team. Most of the times it will be MJ, my girlfriend. As you've seen in the last video, she's a great FIFA player. So she can help me and feature in the channel by playing this new game mode. So basically, I will be playing FIFA and improving my team until we reach Elite, which is the main goal of this channel. Let's see how many weeks it takes us or many months. Let's see if we can even do it. I'm not sure we can. I will give my best, but 
it's a very hard thing to do to be honest so very important for any youtuber having a schedule what's my schedule as you know with me the time struggle is real i don't have a lot of time like the other youtubers who put a, a video every day or two a day or every two day i will have a weekly minimum of one episode and that one episode will be the struggle to glory it's like the main series of the channel right everything is around it but there will be one struggle to glory every week at least there might be some weeks where i can do more i will do more but you know just not to get your hopes up and then i can't believe her one a week In the struggle to glory episode i will show you the food champions gameplay i will show you my team the changes i've been doing to it all the cool highlights and then there's the bonus episodes the squad building there will be the squad battles ones and there might be something extra maybe something with the subscribers maybe something with other youtubers i've been talking with already so guys i hope you enjoyed the plan i hope you're excited as i am for this series to finally start we're going to open the very first packs of the club can we get an icon i hope you're as excited as i am struggle to glory it's finally starting so guys thanks for watching like the video if you're excited for the series subscribe if you don't want to miss any episode i will see you next time bye bye